Good morning, welcome back to the woods. And I got the big guns out to me today. Decided I felt like bringing something a bit bigger. As you can probably tell from the way that split, damn rot in it. I'm hoping I can just get one feather stick out of one of these pieces but damn it's feeling wet nope too wet I'll have to find something else well on my way in this morning I found this and this is basically the ultimate fire lighting stick. Must have fallen off a tree from high up and this is lovely and dry with some really nice thin stuff on it. So I'm going to use this to get my fire going. I'm taking the larger branches off first because this will be my second stage kindling. If you're regular, you may have seen this knife before. It's uh, a Moscow Hansky tribute knife I made for myself. I thought I'd bring this out today. But while I was fussing about in the house a few weeks back, I I came across this. Now this is a little ferro rod that came with uh, a TBS fire necklace. And it was just sitting there in the box. So I thought, well, I'll put it on you for an emergency. I always carry a ferro rod, I always carry a lighter, but you never know. And then I came across a little hack I thought of, but I'll show you that later. Now, ooh, about two or three weeks back, I did a video on the Pascook fire necklace, and I gathered some tinder, which was no good. Whether it was wet, I can't remember. Yeah, it was wet and just basically thistle head now I've still got a piece in my pocket I'm not holding out much hope but what I'm going to try and do now if this is dry enough I'm going to light this and light a tiny bundle of twigs to get my fire going if it fails I'll probably resort to some other method but I'm going to try it but I'm going to do it with a tiny little feather stick I'm not going to put much effort into it just make a small one I've shaved this now in such a way that all the small curls, all the little ends are on one side and that's what will catch. Well I hope that's what will catch. i got to prepare some fine twigs now.
I'll call that a success. I know it uh, went on the second attempt, but that's fine. It worked, and I'm pleased about that. Now to get some tea on. That's the fire lit and it's burning well. I know them rounds are a bit on the damp side but they're rotten so they will dry quick. I've put them around the side now. Should keep me going for a while. So I thought I'd show you my little hack. I like a gadget. Sorry if some of you think gadgets are nonsense. I like a gadget, can't help it, that's just me. Obviously when the chips are down, lighters, ferro rods, matches, all that kind of stuff wax light does use them last week's video it was stinkingly wet here yeah, and I use my wax discs I could have sat here for 10 10 minutes forget it more like half an hour making feather sticks but I wanted to get a fire going quick so I did so this little hack now if you own one of these or a scoop and bush tool you will find all these holes which are meant to be lashed to a stick to cut grasses well I never do that anyway and let's face it I don't think many of you have either but that was the idea with all the holes with the great Kohansky so I thought to myself oh they're not doing much are they yeah I keep that on the back one so I can just chop off small branches from things and you can see it and I thought I'll try something with the middle one. So what I did, I cut small strips of tinder card and I wedged them in there. Then I took a candle and I dripped wax inside over the top, keep it waterproof. And cause I'm a fussy son of a bitch, I had a silver pen <laughs> and I colored it in, but it didn't work very well. But if you, th if you can see it being silver, that's why. So, with that and this tiny ferro rod so all I need to do is carve a little stick push that out I have quite a bit of wax tinder and I'd have had a far easier job of lighting that fire with that than with that tiny bit of tinder that tiny bit of tinder if I had not used the feather stick wouldn't have worked no way it just flares up so quick I wouldn't have lit the sticks the little twigs I just wouldn't have lit them so I had to make that little feather stick. A couple of minutes meant I had a successful fire. Well, I'm going to have my cup of tea now and then get back to you. And the reason why I bought the big saw with me was because I'm going to cut a new chopping block. Fingers crossed I can find a nice down tree. The one this block came off, I wouldn't be surprised it's too rotten now because that's about a year ago. If I cut a few chunks off it, I may get to a nice dry portion, but that was never 100% seasoned in the first place. As you can probably tell when I'm chopping, the axe does sometimes sink into it. It is a bit moist. But without the chainsaw, and my big silky is a little bit blunt because a couple of years ago, we cut through a lot of oak with it on a camp boat, and it did dull it. So it's not 100%. And I'm a bit too mean to buy a new blade because it's not that bad. Now seeing as I'm a glutton for punishment and I do believe that a man should know the limitations of the kit he carries, I'm going to attempt to light the feather stick with this tiny little ferro rod which let's face it is really just meant for lighting fine tinder. I'm going to give it a go. Now I'm pretty sure that I failed using the striker that came with it at the time which was probably over a year ago now the strikers they're just not sharp enough they're too small but I think maybe with my nice sharp 90 on my uh, Kohansky knife I may be able to do it let's give it a go it's a bit thick split it down
super fine. I just barely put the knife over the piece of wood. So I took just about the thinnest curls I possibly could off. Let's give it a go. It lit and then went out. Try the thumb, a bit more control. This is the problem with these little ferro rods, they are very soft. But I think I'll get it. Done. But I think taking a few little scrapings off really helped. Not something I'd rely on in bad conditions, but I think it's worth leaving it on there. And if I did actually push this tinder out from here, I have, with a feather stick, I've probably got two fires in there, maybe even three. So yes, it'll stay on, it's worth carrying seems it weighs next to nothing anyway. Now I've got to go off and cut a big round. I've checked it out and a bit of rot in it but I think it'll work okay. Changed my mind about the chopping block. It's far too rotten. It's not worth the effort so I won't bother. Right, seeing as I'm not going to cut that uh, big round down into a chopping log, I think I will cut dead standing tree down, do a bit of work with this. Saws are just so more efficient than axes. And then my final cup of tea and I'm off. Well that's your lot for today and if you're wondering why I didn't film cutting the tree down simply because part of the tree was rotten and I didn't want to put my camera there just in case it went away I didn't want it to go but it actually went fine. I didn't want to be worrying about my camera while I'm doing something potentially dangerous so I didn't bother filming it. 
wasn't a particularly big tree anyway. I could have cut it with a regular silky big boy, no problem at all. But seeing as I had the big saw, I thought I might as well use it. Now what I'm thinking of doing next week, I think this piece now, which is the thickest part of the tree, I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to put the silky big boy up against my 30 inch Spring Creek saw and see which is the most efficient time wise. Although I won't go hell for leather because that's just silly, you break blades that way. What's the most efficient, what's the quickest, and the least fatigue? I think the bow saw will probably win because let's face it, that's what's been used for bucking up wood for a very long time. But it's worth looking at. So that's what I'll do next time. Right. Well, that's it for now, and uh, I shall see you next time. Remember, thumbs up is always appreciated, and if you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate that too. Till next time, ta -ra. <coughs> Right, I'm ready now. I think the boss will probably be it. Win. Boom. Start that again. Well, seeing as I'm not going to chop that up and get some feather wood. Feather wood. Start again. Hope you enjoyed this little short video. Just my little fire lighting hack trying out this funny little ferro rod. I'll see you next time. ta -ra. Thumbs up is always appreciated. Start that again. That's crap. Blah, blah, blah.